Welcome back to Fox 47. Some students in DeWitt were caught and punished for racist incidents after the election, and now the district is trying to come up with a plan to prevent that behavior. On Tuesday, parents, teachers, and community members got a chance to talk to each other and hear from district leaders about what should be done. Fox 47's Faith Miller was there. It took a long time, but I'm glad, and I'm sure that everyone that was here was glad to to hear the superintendent speak and clarify uh, what it was that occurred, what it was that he did, that the school did, but there were still a lot of questions that were left unanswered. Deanna Rivera is friends with people whose kids she says were targeted. She hopes the district will make sure that students who have been the victims of racism still feel welcome and accepted at the school. One DeWitt High teacher says he wants to be part of changing the school's culture. Put together a plan and let's start executing it. I mean, I'm um, rearing, rearing to go. You know, I've been reading books. I want to do a, a study group with teachers. I want to try to implement things in our curriculum, but also do extracurricular activities and really get it out into the community as a whole. He hosts an extracurricular activity that promotes creativity and innovation and is purposefully open to all students to promote collaboration in diversity. It has to be a total community effort. Superintendent John Dieter says he got a lot of feedback from parents at the meeting and he's ready to move forward. Where do we go from here? Obviously we've had some issues and then it's time to make a plan to address those issues that's long term and sustainable. Dieter says the district has enforced its zero tolerance policy on bullying, but now he wants to be proactive and educate students and parents to prevent things like this from happening at all. The district surveyed the 150 or so people at the meeting about racism and discrimination in schools. It expects results in about two weeks.